What's going on guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a quick look at the new Magic Mouse 2. So this also joins the new Magic Keyboard and the Magic Trackpad 2, which are launching alongside the new iMacs. Now the Magic Mouse 2 does come standard with the iMacs, but you can purchase it separately for $79 off the shelf. So if you wanna upgrade your current hardware, you can do that. Now, before we talk about what's new, let's get to the unboxing. So the box itself is pretty simple here. Of course, we have our Apple logos on either side and we have our pricing and model number information on the back. Taking off the plastic and lifting the lid, First thing we'll see here is the Magic Mouse 2, which looks a lot like the previous generation with this multi-touch glossy surface along the top. It still works the same. We have a full physical click here, uh, so it's not like a force touch sort of setup like you get with the new Magic Trackpad 2. So if you like a traditional click, you still get it with the Magic Mouse. Now, of course, the big visual difference here is along the back. There is no longer a removable panel for swapping out the batteries. Instead, we get a lightning connector, which allows you to recharge the battery internally. But of course, this means it can't be used while it's charging, but it will charge pretty quickly here. So two minutes of charge should deliver nine hours of use. It takes about two hours to fully charge, which is good for about a month or better. Setting that aside really quickly, let's remove the tray and take a look at the accessories. So this time we get some paperwork. Of course, we get a quick start guide and some regulatory information. And of course, we get a neatly packaged lightning cable, which allows you to recharge your mouse. Now, in terms of setting the mouse up for your Mac, you have two options now. So we have the standard Bluetooth pairing. All I have to do is switch on the mouse and it's ready to start pairing. We don't have an LED light on the mouse to indicate that it's turned on or off. Uh, so you'll have to take a look at your Mac to find out if it sees it or not. So under Bluetooth settings on your Mac, you should see your mouse available for pairing. Alternatively, we can skip this entire process and use automatic pairing, but of course you'll need your lightning cable connected to your Mac. As Soon as you plug it into the mouse, it pairs automatically and you're ready to start using it. So you can disconnect the lightning cable and use the mouse right away. So how does the new Magic Mouse 2 compare to the previous generation? Well, the new mouse is slightly longer, but it's almost imperceptibly so and doesn't really change how you use the mouse. But it is noticeably lighter. We go from 3.9 ounces to 3.5 ounces, which makes the mouse lighter and quicker to move around on a surface. That combines with redesigned pads along the back, which reduces friction. And generally speaking, the mouse is a lot quicker and easier to use than before, and it is noticeable. Now, although we have a new design, the design itself is mostly carried over here. We have this aluminum frame along the back, which is all sealed in this time for the Magic Mouse 2. You can see we have a black Apple logo instead of a white Apple logo. We lose the battery door. So of course you no longer have to pop off the batteries, which is really nice. Once again, we have our on and off switch in the same location as before, right next to the optical sensors, which still cannot see glass. So you can't use this on the glass table, unfortunately. Of course, instead of a battery door switch for popping off the battery, we now have a lightning connector. So how does the new Magic Mouse 2 work? Well, it basically works like the previous generation. So we still have the same features and it basically works the same. So there's no real difference here. So once again, we have this multi-touch surface on the top that responds to swipes and taps of your finger. Of course, we do have a full physical click as well. So we have things like scrolling. So you can choose natural scrolling or traditional scrolling. You have your secondary click, which you can enable under settings. So if you press on the right side of the mouse, you have your secondary click. We also have smart zoom. So if you just double tap the surface of the Magic Mouse, this will zoom in for you, not double press, just double tap. You can also adjust the tracking speed as well. We can also swipe between pages. So we can swipe left or right to navigate back and forward in the browser. We can swipe between full screen apps using a two finger gesture left and right. And we have mission control. So again, just double tap using two fingers on the surface of the mouse to bring up mission control. And of course, there's lots of other ways to use that multi-touch surface. So you can scrub through your timeline within a video editor, or you can do full 360 degree scrolling on an image that's zoomed in. So this mouse does give you some trackpad-like functionality, but gives you a full physical mouse that you can move around for more accurate control. So in the end, the Magic Mouse 2 works a lot like the previous generation, but with an internal battery, which allows you to quickly charge it with a lightning cable most people probably already have connected to their Mac, I think it's a lot easier than swapping out batteries when they run out from time to time. I also like the lighter and more solid construction. But ultimately, if you're not a fan of the previous generation, you're not gonna be a fan of this. It's still a small mouse that can be a little difficult to use for an extended period of time. So for example, like a video editor such as me, I don't really like using this mouse just because it's not very comfortable to use over an extended period of time. It's pretty small to grip, especially with my large hands. So for me personally, I still prefer the Logitech MX Master, which gives me a nice ergonomic grip and a lot more precise control over what I'm doing. And because the Magic Mouse has a touch surface along the top, sometimes you accidentally brush against it, which does things you don't want it to do, like scroll through your timeline. 
All right, guys, so that's gonna do for me in this video. I will be covering the new keyboard and the new Magic Trackpad 2 in separate videos, so stay tuned for that. And of course, I will be covering the new IMAX. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know, and I'll see you again in the next one.